Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the, the DCI. This is their part number 3267X in the US 26. This is a heavy duty doorstop and wall holder, is what it is. This features a hook that will give you the ability to manually hold the door open and do so in a heavy heavy duty way where you've got a very robust piece of equipment here that's going to provide the stopping of the door. Now obviously this is for non-fire rated doors. You can't manually hold open a fire rated door and have it still be a fire rated compliant door. Fire rated doors must be self-closing by all means of activation <laughs> and removing that hook is not one of those approved means of activation. <laughs> um, have to, they have to they have to self close every time they're opened, um, or by all means of activation. Like if they're, what I'm trying to say is if they're held open electromagnetically, if they're held open electrically with listed and approved fire rated door holding devices, um, you know that would all be approved. But a manual holder would not be. So the DCI 3267X is available certainly in different finishes. And this is certainly a commodity item in the sense that it's a common piece of equipment. You're going to see it installed in those applications where you need to hold doors open that are not fire rated. Um, and you need to do so in a robust and good looking fashion. Um, and what I mean by that is the finish is very good. This is a piece of solid brass, uh, which means that it will afford a very nice uh, quality finish because of the caliber of the base material. This is available in US 10 for satin bronze, US 10B for oil rub bronze, US 26 for polished chrome, US 26D for satin chrome, US 3 for polished brass, and US 4 for satin brass. This is going to of course include the staple for the door, normally the door, right? That's going to go on the back of the door. I think a good application would be for this might be um, Well, uh, a door that has no fire rating at all, um, it might be appropriate for um, exterior doors where you want to be able to uh, hold the doors open. Obviously, polished chrome might be a, little bit, a bit less typical for those applications, but you've got quite, uh, quite, a, quite an assembly there. So I'm going to hold it up vertically so that I can measure the total distance from what would be the wall to the face of the door when it's in the held open position. So about five and seven eighths, okay? The advantage of this sort of hook assembly is that you can really approach the hold open point in a lot of different areas, okay? You can, you can manipulate where you're gonna install that. Okay, so if you needed to bring the door out a little bit, open a little bit further, you can sure just uh, not align those two, the, the two points together, but you might be able to draw it back. So you've got, you know, the ability to pull that door in a little bit further. Now individual dimensions. Uh, I would sure like if the holder was insulated from the rest of the assembly. There's no damage on this at all, but I would like to see a packing material on this hook, especially on plated finishes. Um, overall projection, about 3 and 11 sixteenths. Okay. Overall diameter of the base, about two and an eighth. Now the staple portion, that's gonna be inch and, inch and a half overall height with its width at about three quarter. We'll have a total projection of about 13 sixteenths, okay? This is going to include some fasteners. Uh, you're going to get, first of all, you're gonna get a machine bolt a, th a piece of threaded rod, and then a lead anchor. You're going to get a hanger bolt. That's half machine thread, half wood thread. You're going to get the two small screws for the staple, and then you're going to get an oval head screw and a plastic anchor. The oval head screw and the plastic anchor are meant to be down here. The threaded, either the hanger bolt or the threaded rod with the lead anchor will work in a wood or you know masonry type construction. That's up here. So you'll install that one first. After you have located and pre-drilled both of the holes, you'll install the top one by rotating it. Then you'll get the bottom portion into position and then run that oval head screw through it. 
Then of course those other two screws, the two smaller ones that are the same, will be for the staple itself. Okay. Heavy duty wall stop with a holder, two and five eighths projection, manufactured of solid cast brass or bronze, this would be brass. Universal mounting package for all types of applications. I would say, yeah, pretty close. Um, you might need a, a, an additional fastener. Uh, if you're going into drywall, you're gonna need a fastener for sure. Um, polished chrome. There is a link below this video to a document called product information, and it will show you the 3267X and it's a couple of its sister products, namely the model that does not incorporate a holder that would be simply a heavy duty version of a doorstop. Now finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the DCI products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. I'm partial to DCI and it's because they have a relatively petite footprint of material that they sell. Um, and why that applies to me is because why I'm partial to DCI as a result of that is they figured out what they do and they do it very well. Um, obviously having, you know, a digestible amount of trim and auxiliary hardware to supply uh, ends up in a higher level of satisfaction for the end user. When it comes to certain pieces of trim and auxiliary that you're going to find, hardware that you're going to find in their catalog, I would urge you to review their product line and here's why. They have, while most vendors, manufacturers have a minimum order to drop ship if we don't stock the material, theirs is low. Their inventory is generally very deep. Their ability to predictably, reliably, dependably ship material out incredibly quick is, uh, puts them into a area that others you know, can't match. The point I'm trying to make is if you needed 10 of these shipped in within a day or two, they're your go-to company. And they're going to make that happen all the time. They do a great job at it. If you know DCI, you might know them for their Panax series of exit devices. Uh, but they do a great job with coordinators, flush bolts, carry bars, that whole assemblage of material that goes together. And then all the trim and auxiliary that they get into as well. If you have any questions on the DCI, this is their part number 3267X and a US 26 finish or any other DCI product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.